This whole entire area was filled with migrants back here. And as soon as we started filming, they're now moving them all inside because they don't want us to see what's going on in New York City. Now, I, I want to highlight these signs as well. They say, did you know we can book your ticket to travel anywhere outside New York City? No need to wait in line. Just tell the front door staff you'd like to get a travel ticket. Now, this is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different languages up there. So you have multiple people from multiple countries um, being offered free tickets out of New York City. City. And again, this whole area was just filled with migrants. But as soon as we got here and we started trying to speak to them, uh, they're all gone now. We are having a hearing censoring the experiences of black immigrants in New York City. And if you are not overwhelmed by the beautiful black faces that are present here today and surrounding City Hall, something is profoundly wrong with you. Well, Laura, I went and I spoke to a lot of these people as well as I could, many of them speaking French. But what I found is that they were here to plead with the city for more resources. Uh, you know, the same thing that we find every single time when we come to New York, more migrants, more people asking for handouts. I was at one of the local NGOs and one of the most shocking things that I've discovered this trip is that not only are they giving these migrants free tickets throughout the entire United States, but also around the world, because that is how desperate New York is getting to get these migrants out of their city. But because it is such a nice setup here, right, with the sanctuary city, free hotels, free food, free daycare, free medical care, they want to stay here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I got to tell you guys, just when you thought it could not get worse, for these sanctuary cities, these liberal cities that say, hey, we love illegal immigrants, okay? We want to take them in, and if you don't want to take them in, then you're a bigot, right? Except when they actually got what they asked for, now all of a sudden, they're overwhelmed, okay? It's racist to send illegals to liberal cities, right? This is what they said. So we got to go back out to New York City, right? One of the main cities that has been experiencing uh, the negative consequences of what they asked and what they vote for. Okay. Uh, we don't have to talk about the Venezuelan migrants today, right? We have a new set of migrants to talk about, not the Asians <laughs> either, but the Africans. Okay. Apparently there are a ton of African migrants that swam across the Atlantic ocean. They swam across the Atlantic ocean. I'm not sure how the hell they got here. Okay. But they got here somehow. Okay. I'm assuming that they, they took a boat right now. <laughs> Maybe they got a plane ticket in Mexico. I'm not entirely sure, right? They did something. They did get into this country. And they were bused to New York City like a lot of the illegals were that entered the country illegally at the border. And, um, yeah, now they are getting all uppity, right? They're getting real uppity because they don't like the food, okay? They don't like the housing, and they're demanding to work, okay? And if you don't let them work... And to give them what they're asking for, what they're entitled to, then you are racist and xenophobic, according to some of these Africans at this New York City uh, meeting that happened after the African migrants stormed town hall over issues that they're having, not getting what they feel they are entitled to, even though they're not really entitled to anything. So I want to talk about it. But before we get into it, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Noble Gold. Hey there, investing feels overwhelming right now, doesn't it? So complicated, so many decisions. But leaving your money in the bank, not a great idea. It's losing value every single day. So if it's stressing you out and driving you nuts, why not invest smarter with Noble Gold Investments? Precious metals are simple and real. There hasn't been a company or stock that was around 2,000 years ago, but guess what? Gold was around 2,000 years ago. It's always been there through wars, turmoil, and disasters. Reliable, dependent, authentic. That is why you cannot go wrong with precious metals. They've always had your back. Noble Gold Investment American experts will show you how to set and forget your 401k or IRA. You'll get a dedicated professional assigned to you. No hassle, no call centers. And this month, Noble Gold is giving away a free quarter ounce gold standard coin with 
every qualifying IRA investment. Visit noblegold.com to claim your gold coin. That is noblegoldinvestments.com. And just remember, there's a risk with every investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. Today, hundreds of black migrants, many from African countries, showed up at City Hall demanding better treatment. They say they just want a job and basic shelter. And Chopper 2 was overhead this afternoon, showing the large group outside City Hall just how many people this issue is impacting. The steps of City Hall also packed. CBS 2's John Diaz reports now on the changes that they're calling for. Every migrant we spoke with has something in common. They want to work. Right now, they're trying to cut through all the red tape that's stopping them, asking local leaders to put pressure on Washington, D.C. to make a change. As dozens rallied on the steps outside City Hall and hundreds showed up in support nearby inside the council chambers, tears were shed for all black migrants impacted by what advocates are calling unfair treatment. They are here to show you that they belong and that they are here and that they should not be erased. Please listen to them. Tuesday, city council members held its first hearing to learn more about the experiences black migrants have been going through in New York. Black migrants have reported verbal and physical abuse due to the color of their skin. This is unacceptable. This is shameful time in New York history. This city is not friendly for all people. It is anti-African and xenophobic. Cette ville n'est pas du tout accueillante pour les Africains. Elle est raciste et xenophobe, et on doit le dire. We came to share this testimony to let you all know in this council you all are responsible for this pain and suffering that will affect us for generations to come. But you also can change this for better. C'est l'hôpital qui se moque de la charité. New York City should at least live up to the standard it projects to the world. Instead of the mediocrity he has shown our community, Africans deserve dignity and respect. We are not animals. This country has the habit to. I'm so upset. You have a habit to receive all over immigrants, all over community. Why is it going to be done only to the African? It's because it's an embedded protocol of racism and xenophobia in this city. And I want all my fellow Africans to know what it is that they will face if they come in New York City. Federal immigration laws are either slowing down the process for these migrants to get working permits, or depending on what country they come from, it makes them ineligible. But when they give our work permits, we can work and take care of ourselves. Governor Kathy Hochul has tried to speed along the process. These migrants are also up in arms over language access barriers and temporary shelters, saying 30 days isn't long enough. This mother and her two kids have been staying at the Humanitarian Relief Center at Floyd Bennett Field. But she says the city should be providing more assistance. Uh, what I expect to have like a help from American people. I did not see that. The relief center continues to be a point of contention for Republican Council Member Vicky Palladino, who says the city is already giving the migrants too much. This is absolute, absolute insanity at its finest. And most migrants we saw out here today were young men, but also we saw some families, including children and even some infants. From City Hall, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Bruh, this is insanity. This is absolute insanity, man. It's crazy. I'm just in awe. I'm in shock, okay? And again, I've seen a lot. We've seen a lot these past three or four years under Biden administration. But it just keeps getting more and more and more crazy, right? It just gets progressively more crazy. You have illegals from Africa, Africa, coming over here, demanding, demanding top of the line housing, top of the line food, language assistance programs, jobs, demanding it as if it's a right. They're entitled to it. And if you don't give it to them the way they want it, because you're getting free housing, you're getting free food. Okay, you're getting assistance. If you don't give it to them the way they want it. 
even though they come from some poor African country, you're racist. You're xenophobic. You can't make this up, bro. You can't make this up. You can't make it up. We've officially reached clown world. I mean, we were there a long time ago. But I, I just never imagined this, the, the country being in this state, guys. I just never imagined the country <laughs> being like this. And I hate to laugh, but you, you just have to laugh to keep yourself from going insane, thinking about what is happening. What is happening right now? We have people that have taken advantage of Biden's um, soft on border laws have come into this country seeking economic opportunities, not because they're actually really seeking asylum. And that, and again, that it perfectly expl explains why they're so uppity, why they feel so entitled. Because if you're actually seeking asylum, you're escaping political persecution. You don't swam all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, okay? I don't know how the hell they got here, but I'm just saying, uh, they, they did something. You don't took that long-ass trip. And I'm assuming, again, you come from a country where you... You blessed just to have a roof over your head. You blessed just to have running water. You blessed to have a toilet. You blessed to get a, a solid hot meal every single day. They're getting all of that and more in New York City. And they still complaining. Again, it's bad enough that they came here illegally. But they're woke on top of that. Right? That makes it even worse. But listen, guys. This is what I'm trying to tell you about why this next election is so important. Because Biden's eventually going to grant work permits, right? I mean, Biden essentially told these liberal city mayors, they said, look, you got to wait until after the election. The reason why you got to wait until after the election is because if we grant work permits now, that's going to make Biden look even worse when it comes to allowing the illegal immigrants to get jobs in the work, which will definitely bring down people's wages. OK, a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. American citizens are going to lose their jobs because business is going to say, hey, we can hire cheap labor. Right. We can hire these migrants that just came here uh, for way cheaper uh, than Americans. And again, it's going to put a lot of Americans out of work. And he knows that that's what's going to happen, along with the fact that that's going to motivate even more people to come. Right. When you grant people work permits, basically what you're saying is that, well, if you come here illegally, if you get in because you are an asylum seeker, right, this is what, you know, they do. OK, if you go to the border and say, I'm hungry, I'm escaping political persecution. doesn't matter what country you're from, apparently. OK, at first they, they try to tell us, well, it's all Venezuelans. Right. You, you have to let them in because they're escaping communism. OK, <laughs> but no, 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 it's not. You got people coming from all over the world. They're being let in. And then if you let them work immediately or you eventually grant them work authorization permits, Basically, what you're telling people is that, yeah, you can skip the line. Just come on in through the border. You might suffer a little bit, but eventually we're going to let you work and then we're just going to let you stay. That's the message that the Biden administration is sending if they grant work authorization permits now. So they can't do it now politically. OK, it, it will be a backbreaker for Joe Biden. But best believe if Biden wins, he is going to grant those work authorization permits immediately, immediately. These people will be allowed to stay and they will be allowed to work. And then the border will be extremely overrun. If you think it's bad now, if Biden wins, all bets are off. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this election is the election of our lifetimes. I know we say that a lot. OK, I know that a lot of people like to exaggerate about the importance of the presidential election, but I'm so serious. The 2024 election is the election of our lifetimes it is going to determine the future of this country especially when it comes to this issue of legal immigration because again if biden wins america is done as we know it it's done it's done because essentially at that point the floodgates will be wide open i mean they're already wide open but they'll be even more open and you'll just have everybody from every place on earth right the poor okay um they're, they're gonna be coming right on into america they're gonna come right on in and Biden will not have a political incentive to stop them. He won't. Again, crime and this issue right here are the two biggest issues in 2024. Two biggest issues. And again, if you don't vote based off any other issue, these are the issues that you really need to be voting on. Because these issues right here, again, it could destroy the country as we know it. I mean, I, I believe that maybe just maybe we're already at the point of no return. Okay. But I'm just saying I'm holding out hope that maybe a Trump administration can help 
you know, straighten a lot of this stuff out. We'll see. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a Black Conservative perspective. Peace.